Tuesday the 14th of March 1882, at about three o'clock in the afternoon, Janie's aunt Staniforth, Mary, was suddenly disturbed by shouts of alarm and banging on the doors of the Wellington Inn. When she opened the doors, she was confronted with the sight of a policeman, Harris, and several men carrying the body of a young man who she would have been dismayed to recognise as her local butcher. Harris demanded a place to lay the body and Mary, and perhaps her scullery maid, would have directed the men to one of the smaller snugs at the rear of the establishment. It was a gory situation because the man in question, Joseph Hardcastle, had used a revolver to take his own life. Mary, as the proprietor of the Wellington, was told that there would be an inquest into the man's death and that she would have to be the custodian of the body until that took place two days later. I can imagine them at some point deciding which of the freshly laundered sheets would have to be sacrificed to create a makeshift shroud to protect the furniture and to provide some dignity to the deceased. At some point, the poor man's widow would have been alerted and she may well have come to the Wellington to see her husband's remains and Aunt Stanley Forth will have had to attend to the extremely distressed woman. Find out more on the podcast My Love Letter Time Machine.